What is up guys? Still in Laos in a new bloody location though. I've been excited. I've been waiting to come to the capital city, Vientiane. And we're doing the touristy stuff today. Look how gorgeous this, this backdrop is, huh? I feel like I'm not even in Laos. To be fair, Laos is, it, oh, it has been very naturally beautiful. Got some tourists over here, but we're at something that I've been looking forward to. I believe it's Pat Shui. So this is actually the Arch of Independence. This was erected, I don't know, maybe 50, 50 years ago, something along those lines. But this was erected for those who fought in the, maybe it was the war or, or the fight for independence against France. There you go. But it's absolutely beautiful. Let's check out the interior design, guys. But up there, I'll we'll stop. I believe it's the warriors. A lot of warriors, they've got tridents, swords. And it's a very touristy spot as well. It's a body. Heaps of tourists just sitting in and around. I think this is sort of just it. It's a great photo spot, no doubt. But learning more about the Laos history, it's similar to Vietnam. The French were here for quite a, quite a long time. But they've ceased since departed. But they've left sort of an influence as well. Some of the architecture, very French colonial style. Some of the food as well. Slightly French too. This is the other side. So just on the left of Pat Shui, we have, how scenic is that though? Huh? We have Parliament House. And it's very European vibes, in my opinion. It's gorgeous. Just like this entire place. The NTN is a vibe. And normally we'd have a fountain. If you come in around about maybe quarter past six, you can get a, at night, you can get a beautiful light show. And I've just missed it, but when I got here, there was a bit of the waterworks, the fountains, but unfortunately right now it's, it's been paused, maybe to save some water, hey? But it would be pretty cool. Bummer. That's okay. Hello, how are you? <laughs> uh, nice one. All right, let's continue to the next destination, eh? Hey? Right, yeah. But this is pretty damn cool. I'll be honest. Yeah, it's massive as well, and you can actually get upstairs. But I think they've closed it off to the public, or maybe it's always been closed off, and it's just the bottom you can see. It'd be awesome to see the view from up there and just see the design, really. All right, we're leaving the monument now, the monument of independence. But you guys want to check out our whips for today? This is what I love about coming to cities of countries. Ta-da! So I'm staying at a La Cham Hotel, pretty much in the smack bang of the heart of the NTN, but our place lets you rent these little e-scooters. We're gonna get some bicycles, but these are so much faster. So this was per, we got it for half day at eight USD, which is pretty damn good, huh? Each. Each, yeah, and it's a good way to get around. Guys, this is my keychain. How cute is this? What is this guy from? Adventure I don't know. Time? Adventure time, is it? Oh, it is an adventure. All right. Key in there. Ignition on. We've got some lights. We've got some <coughs> horns. That's a big horn. Guys, obviously this is quite dangerous. So I'm going to put you into the, the saddle, the seat. I'll button myself up. All right, you guys are going to be sitting in here. Enjoy. And we are ready guys. Ah, I should let you know, it's a little twist ignition. Bang. All right. And the race begins. We'll try and fit through here. All right. But we're right on the highway, you can drive on these bad boys. Just make sure to stick in certain lanes. You see that little tuk-tuk there? So that is the main tourist form of transportation. But this is so much more fun. You can ride in it yourself, enjoy the wind in your hair. 
This is the best way to get around in my opinion. Zoom! And we're here guys! park somewhere here but this is what the fat I believe I'll double check let's let's park these bad boys in here somewhere I oh, can go here under some shade Whew. just like that guys we have arrived guys look at that Almost looks like it doesn't belong her. Huh? It looks sort of alien-like. So it's a golden Buddha stupa. But this is Phathat Luang. One of the more iconic temples or places of worship, I'd say. But just everywhere, Vientiane, where we were before, just in Phat Chuai, the greenery. How clean it is as well. And then this is the, the centerpiece. So it's approaching midday, 12 p.m. and that's when they shut for a little bit, I believe. And there is an admission. Yeah, Thailand does this too. Uh, for the Laos, uh, 5,000, foreigner, 30,000. I understand though, we're only here probably once in our lifetime and the Laos people probably come a lot more often, so it sort of makes sense. Right. Let's grab one of these tickets. This. Yeah. The Bank of Vietnam. The Bank of Laos. DT. Shmoney. Shmoney. You've got your own money? No. <laughs> Do you reckon I can pass this Laos, guys? Every country I've gone to, they always think I'm from that, uh, that area, that region. Or I'm Japanese, one or the other. It's about it. Uh, two? Cop chair. Bang. Tickets, guys. Alright, let's explore. Alright. But as you can probably tell, it's, it's super hot. So, some prayer here. They have those flowers everywhere. A lot of people make them. And they've got the headless Buddhas or the statues as well. Very similar to, I was just in Cambodia in Angkor Wat and they were beheaded but the people were selling them before Angkor Wat became a UNESCO World Heritage Site guys. So fun fact for you. But these are cool, uh, hell, these are so old school. Oh, I've got a painting here guys, it's an oil painting. The Great King, apologies that's too long for me. Who led the Dalawang Stoop of Yen Yeah. Maybe that's him? Warriors, workers, elephants. They would have built a lot of things with the elephants using them. It's pretty cool. That's it, but it's silver. They obviously would have painted it afterwards. Yo, this painting is actually pretty cool. You don't like them? Everyone's so loud here, even, even including me. Interesting, huh? But yeah, this, is, this has actually been destroyed a few times, especially maybe, I want to say 100, 150 years ago, maybe even more, when the Thai came. When the Thai was here, I mean, it was the air bombings potentially, or the, the war at least. This was destroyed, but then it's been uh, restored. And it's looking as good as ever. When I was in... Bang Vien. There were heaps of these. People on the side of the roads making them. I believe they're just flowers. You've got candles as well. Then you've got incense as well. But Laos is major or the majority of the population is actually Buddhist. Look at this little gong action, huh? Right. My family is Buddhist as well. But Ooh, it's very um soothing to be honest when the gong sounds but this is Fa Thet Luang it's pretty damn cool huh one of the main tourist attractions of Laos 
Guys, we're heading out of the beautiful temple. There's actually, by the side of the temple here, there are some, some markets, some goodies, some clothing as well. Sabaidi. These are cooler. Is that a Buddha? Queen. That's cool. What's this? Magnet, huh? You have sticker? Sticker? No sticker? No sticker, just magnet, huh? Magnet. Fatat Luang. What is this one? Keep. Keep. Looks like something you put um, elicited products in, guys. Oh, you put money in. Oh, keep. Keep. Oh, okay. 50,000. Okay. Kop chai. So they've got a lot of the Laos clothing as well. With the fruit sales vendors. Oh, this be looking juicy. The baby is coconuts. Yeah, you want two of your finest coconuts, please. How you Ah. Wow, I'm Cici. Hi, hi. Cici. 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 Not like this, this guy's a professional fruit sales vendor, guys. Watermelon, oh, those mangoes look delicious. Pineapples as well. But I think it's about a 37 degree day. We're gonna get one of these or two of these bad boys. Okay, yeah, guys, two fresh coconuts. Got that machete, professional. Very good. There you go, uno, Kup chai, Wendell's. Oh my god, it's so cute. I know, it's adorable. <laughs> Here's the other bad boy. It's got corn in here too. That's a bit random. And guava. Kup chai, uh, it is how much? Samsip. Uh, Samsip? Okay. 30,000. Okay, something? Yeah. Top chai. So if you didn't know, they use the same numbers as Thailand as well, which is super easy. I didn't have to relearn numbers. I'm talking to vendors and people. But how's the coconut? It's so oh man, she juicy. Yeah, I think I'll drink it all in one day. Yeah, they're super small. Hence why it's 15,000. They are adorable though. <laughs> On. They're done. <laughs> Look at her coconut, guys. <laughs> mm. Mm? Oh, it's enough, mate. <laughs> guys, coconuts completed. Oh no! I don't know. You have this bin? Yeah? Oh. Okay. You are the best. Alright. And there's a bunch of Vietnamese here, guys. See Laos and Thailand and uh, neighboring countries. I love the outfit as well, huh? Heaps of trinkets. Cigarettes as well, huh? Mm, Chinaman hat. And they store rice in these as well. Sticky rice is the staple food of Laos. You know what, guys? Sticky rice being a food of every Southeast Yeah, you're not wrong. It's a good segue. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some food, show you guys a little bit of a morning market, so we're gonna meet you there, yeah? Bang. Guys, just like that, we are at Talat Sao Morning Market. Trying to find some foods. A lot of little fried snacks here. A bunch of additional snacks as well. Some fruits. Rice paper rolls. Some drinks as well. These look interesting. And some more fruits as well. Huh? I was hoping to find a a proper, a proper market. I've got little spring rolls over here. Sabayde. Oh. Two spring roll. One? Yeah, how much? 4,000? Or oh, 3,000? I can get one? Yeah. 
It is. Yeah. Okay. Nice. There you go. Three thousand. Cup chai. Guys, she's got heaps. Got some corns and peanuts as well. Okay. She's boiling, guys. It's mini so air conditioning. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, I got this little bad boy. I think it's a veggie one. I was hoping to find some traditional food, some sticky rice. Maybe this is traditional, eh? Three thousand. Hmm. Looks like it's a veggie one. Oh yeah. Hmm. I'm oh, good. Juicy. Pretty sure it is a veggie one. It's very starchy. Need some fish sauce. Some vermicelli. Some greens. But it looks like it's a carrot. Vermicelli. And taro probably as well. Hmm. 3,000. Ain't so bad. Guys, I have found the proper morning market with all the fresh food. Well, chickens, drinks. And then the other side, it's just like raw produce, phones, just little knickknacks. And you got a man sewing here as well. You need your, your jeans fitted. Come down here, guys. But this is what I love about Southeast Asia. Except there's no air conditioning here. Huh. But I saw this lady. And I think we're going to get some, some lunch from here. Cold ass drinks. Fishes, chicken. Lady, oh. can you get um, rice? Sticky rice? Oh. <coughs> can we get some of these guys? And some rice as well. How much? How much? Uh, um, 20. Okay. 20,000 guys. Uh, no, that one. What is. Okay, maybe this one? This one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here you go, guys. Bit of egg. Bit of pork. Braise. Looks like chef car. Then maybe some chicken and some some veg as well. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. Here we go, guys. We have the masterpiece. Cop check. Money secured. Let's grab a seat. Right, guys, we have the masterpiece here. It's probably cooked at a home, brought it out. But I got this because it looks like a Vietnamese food. It's like tat ka, which is like braised pork and soy sauce, among other delicious um, condiments and seasonings. Boiled egg. Are these mustard greens? It's the mustard greens with some chicken and some bones in it as well. I know this is going to be good regardless. It just home cook, mum's cooking. And of course the rice, the staple of South East Asia. Is it sticky rice? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's super soft though. It's just good. It's just good. Yeah. It's just good. It's just good. It's just but yeah, Vientian, we really like it. It's got a lot of stuff for tourists. It is the economic capital, if you will. It brings in a lot of money, especially through tourism. To us. Guys, we are off again. Final destination. It's a surprise, mate. It is a surprise. All right. We want to do a little bit of a walk and talking. Let's head out this way, little winds. But Laos so far, it is reaching nearly the end of my time here in Laos. I think I will definitely be back in future. It's just so nice. Maybe I'm here in the off season, but not too much tourists. It's nice, it's peaceful. And the Laos people, they're super relaxing, super kind. It's no matter where I am, whether I was in Luang Prabang, Bang Bien, or now Vientiane, they're the same. Like, Normally when I go to Ho Chi Minh City or Bangkok, everyone's sort of in a rush in the CBD. 
but it's totally different here. Everyone just chill. They just want to they just take the time with things. It's, it's got its pros and cons, obviously. And then you can do stuff like this. Obviously, you can do this probably in any sort of country, but I don't know. It's a nice little vibe. I'm just going to take the scooter down with me here, guys. There's so much fruit sales, ladies. Just chilling in, in and about. All right, we'll continue my debrief about Laos in a bit. Let's go in to the final destination. You guys are back in the baby seat. Engine on. Let's go. This is so much fun, guys. You got to do it. It beats walking. When I walk, I sweat. But watch out for pedestrians. Zoom! Ready? Downhill. Ooh. And onto the road! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> There's a bunch of markets on the right, guys, if you can see. We're here, guys. Trying to get out of this heat. All right, just find somewhere to park. Like somewhere right here will do. We parked the bad boys right next to this mall. It's an eighth anniversary this year, is it? Very nice. But this is the Ventian Center. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That is called air conditioning, guys. They've got some electric vehicles neater, huh? My Lord. Good decision. They have Shiba Hakaru milk. But guys, I wanted to take you into here for a specific reason. We've seen... Hello, Sabaydi. Hey. <laughs> ah, school kids. But yeah, I was mentioning that this is the more modern side of Laos. So I was doing my research because I'm very curious about Laos. There's just so much beauty. The food is good too. It's sort of a, a mixture of Vietnamese and um, Thai food, which is amazing. But yeah, damn, wait, hold up guys. Check out this old camper van, you right? It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's awesome. But I was mentioning that Laos, it's very modern in some aspects. You've got a lot of the rural places, obviously, as well, the countryside, a lot of natural beauty, but then there's a lot of investments coming in from uh, foreign countries as well, just to make this place a hell of a lot more intriguing to tourists. Where is the two windows? Yes. And that's why this, this shopping mall, it's not too new. There's one across the road called Parkson's Law, which is even more new. But they're trying to really expand, really grow Laos, which is nice to see because it's, I think it's easily one of my new favorite countries, 100%. All right, so we've just come upstairs, but it's a, it's a decent mall. I think we might jump to the, the next store mall. That one's in the last few years. But I was doing a bit of research and unfortunately there's still a lot of stores that are shut. I think Laos may be still feeling the effects of the past couple years. A lot of these stores are, are just vacant. And it's pretty quiet in here too. Honestly, there's just a bunch of school kids and a couple of locals as well. There's heaps of gold stores in and around Laos itself. Yeah, it's, it's pretty sad to see, huh? Not too much life. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. If you're looking for a quiet country to come that's re relatively peaceful with good food as well and your dollar goes a long way. Laos is a, is a good spot, I gotta be honest. Like, Thailand is fantastic, but it's a bit overcrowded these days. Alrighty, we're leaving the Ntien Center. I, I hope that's I'm pronouncing it right. But there's heaps of empty stores in and around. Hello. But this is the street. Must be lunchtime or something, heaps of school kids in and around. 
Here we go, but right across from Vientiane Centre is Parkton, one of the more new shopping malls. Hello, Sabaidi. Here we go. But yeah, this place, you can tell it's brand new. It's so posh, it's clean. Feels like I'm in one of Thailand's shopping malls, to be honest. It's nice. Here we go, guys. We are approaching. Oh, that is nice. This place is so much nicer. Oh my gosh. Look at the Lotteria here. This is the nicest, nicest Lotteria I've ever seen in my life. This is nice. Look at the interior design, guys. Ah, but I think they're still renovating all those sh black or those places where the lights are off. They're actually empty. I can see it from down here. Other than that, it's real nice. Nice, gold, clean interior. The restaurants are good too. What's this, Joe Ma? The pizza company. And you got a nice ass looking Starbucks over there. And the air conditioning is amazing. I guess we're going downstairs. I gift you. Oh. Please, can I have some more? I'm trying to shoot a video. <laughs> Watch out. Are you going to do a <laughs> Alright, in the lower level, guys. That's all food court system. Oh, it's... Yo, does Thailand have any influence here? This is exactly like Thailand. You put your money on the card. You go ahead. You get food, you get drinks. Just like Thailand, that's pretty damn cool, huh? I like the vibe. I like the vibe, guys. It's very nice down here. Just interior design. Never heard of these cars in Tigo. But I'm here for a reason, the supermarket, guys. Do you think it's gonna be more expensive than like Probably, yeah. Well, let's have a, let's have a geese. Like big seafood. Big seafood, 25,000, which is about two under two dollars, guys. How much are we looking at? Yeah, it's almost. Yeah, these mangoes, 16. Oh, that's pretty affordable, actually. The prices aren't too bad. But wow. I, I really like um, to be coconut, bigger than a head. But, guys, I was mentioning before, monetary wise, it's actually really affordable, and the dollar goes a long way compared to Cambodia. Yeah. They take a lot of USD there and things weren't the most cheapest, but Laos. Barring transportation, like taxis and, and tours in Laos, especially Vientiane, it's pretty damn expensive. That's why I got the e-scooters today. But, guys, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do some grocery shopping. You guys don't really need to know that, to be honest, but check out the supermarket, huh? Laos. Vientiane is a vibe. It's got everything. It's got nature, activities, Scenery, great food, and modern places like this. This looks almost fake. Catch you in the next one.